everybody and welcome back to the Traction channel for another brand new video. Now I am here at Traction HQ and today I'm going to be playing what is quite possibly Traction's favourite racing game, Wreckfest. A new update was released, version 2.12 on Tuesday. Now the name of this update is Carmageddon and some of you that probably won't ring a bell for. Some of you will be very excited by the word Carmageddon because this was an incredible game in the late 90s. Most people loved it, it was huge amounts of fun, it was just a car combat game bit of a mess around and uh, even though I've never played it personally I've heard very good things about Carmageddon so this is a very very exciting crossover that we've got here Wreckfest and Carmageddon very cool with the new update we of course got the new season of tournament mode we got a new reward car which I'm going to be showing you guys today as well and we also have some exciting maps to try out as well new locations based on the Carmageddon games how cool is that just a quick reminder as well that Wreckfest is available on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and PC. So no matter what your console preference is, you can have a go at this too. So I thoroughly recommend it. Let's get on with the video. First of all, here we have the new reward car, the Eagle R, and this thing just looks absolutely incredible, and I cannot wait to try it. I've not had a go yet myself, so I'm very much looking forward to that. We, of course, have the new daily challenges with the Carmageddon tournament. That's all fine, but what we want to know is what the new tracks are like, or should I say the old tracks, the new, the new old tracks. You see what I mean? And here they are, Bleak City and Devil's Canyon. Now, the cool thing about these is we basically have the original Carmageddon graphics and styling, but obviously put into a modern game on a modern console. In this case, I'm playing on PC. So it's going to be so, so cool combining that, you know, modern technology with the old style. I, I really can't wait to try it out. We've got a few different tracks within each as well. Bleak City, we have the racetrack. We've got Free Roam, which is very exciting. I'll come to that in a bit. We have a Demolition Arena and we have the racetrack in reverse. Whilst with Devil's Canyon, we have the Free Roam map and the racetrack. We'll go with the Devil's Canyon racetrack for now. And here is the beautiful new Eagle R. It's just awesome, isn't it? We're going to do a classic three-lap banger race, just see what this track is all about. So Devil's Canyon looks a little bit more square than the other one. There's not too much to it, so it's a proper race circuit. I think there'll be a lot of 90-degree corners and probably a lot of carnage. 90-degree corners always equals T-boning opportunity, so that's very exciting as well. The surface is 100% gravel as well, so we've got that to think about. Three, right, let's see how we get on. One, oh, my car won't change gear. Okay, I've actually set up my controller this time, so this should hopefully work, and I can change gear. Let's try again. So we're starting from 18. Let's see what this track is all about. So we've got a nice long straight to start off with. You can see a big pit on the left as well. That'll, that'll definitely come into its own in free roam mode, and we can actually run over the, the characters. Oh my goodness. I love the interactiveness of, of Wreckfest, especially when it's something a bit new. So we've got 90 degree left straight away under a checkpoint. I feel like there's gonna be lots of that on this circuit. Got another one here, just looking at the map. Oh, I'm already losing it with the car, no. Oh, someone else is losing it, I'm not the only one. This is like a proper racetrack in many ways. That was not a proper race driver's move. Thank you very much for sorting me out. I absolutely love the Carmageddon sound effects as well. They're just incredible. I'm sure this is gonna be bringing back a lot of nostalgia for those of you who actually played Carmageddon. <laughs> oh, that sounds going to get me every time. Another 90 degree corner. Really non, <laughs> really suboptimal line through there, but we got away with it. And we are now on to the second lap. Okay, so it's fairly straightforward, the first course, to be honest. It's not, not too challenging, although I've somehow managed to make it challenging with my appalling driving. Oh, car in front's lost it. Back into P7. I've lost it. We'll cut all that out. Oh no, I've lost a wheel. Oh, this is not good. No. I've lost my drive. This is bad. What I can tell you then is, despite me not making it to the finish, it's a fun track. That's like a proper race track. You could really get some good races going on there. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. There's nothing too complex to it. But it's just nice to see a totally different aesthetic within Wreckfest because obviously there's so much destruction and there's a lot of kind of rally cross based circuits. It's nice to see something a bit more ridiculous. So. We appreciate that. I did actually really like the way the car handled in that first race before it all went wrong. So what I also want to do is try the fully upgraded Eagle R and see how we get on with that because that, yeah, it's going to be quick, I think. We can also change it and make it look like it's got a fresh coat of paint. I'm all for that. Right, let's give Bleak City a try then. We'll go for the racetrack 
Uh, this one looks. This one reminds me from from the picture of like downtown USA on Toka Touring Cars 2, which was an awesome circuit. Uh, I'm not sure exactly if this particular circuit was in Carmageddon, and I'm sure that those of you watching will know that. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to discover it, see what it's all about. Again, it looks quite interesting. Kind of similar blocky style, which is nice. Welcome to Bleak City. It does look fairly bleak, to be honest. This one's a little bit longer, 2.14 miles, but it is also 100% gravel, even though it kind of looks like tarmac, so that's fine. Let's see how we get on then with this one. Shouldn't be quite as easy to make it to the front with a harder competition. We're already seeing zombie, what looks like zombie blood splattering everywhere. Okay, we survived the first corner. Oh, this thing's got so much power with all the upgrades on. We're now classy, I think it's 317 in terms of our score for performance, so yeah, this thing is quick. Now we've got a loop into the stadium, we've got the uh, the iconic Carmageddon artwork up on the wall, I'm too distracted. Oh my goodness, this is absolute chaos. <laughs> so you can go either way around the loop. We're somehow in third position, I have no idea what went on there. Got a nice wee jump back over the bridge, and it looks like we're taking a 90 degree left, so we're going to hit the brakes, chuck it in, bit of power. Ah, this is a proper race car, this is. It's quite difficult to know what objects are movable and what are solid. I mean, obviously the people are <laughs> movable. I think that's the way of saying it. But the uh, like the lampposts and stuff, are they solid or movable? Nope, they're movable. How about these traffic lights? Let's hope they're movable. Yes, no bother. Cars, also movable. Love it. Oh, corner. Corner. No. No. Bad driving. It's still giving me downtown USA vibes, this. Up over a jump. Oh, nice. That one will be fun to do in reverse. And we've got another tight right. Too much power, too much power. No. No, 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 I've screwed up. No, we're okay. Oh, big shunt in front. See you later. <laughs> it's absolute carnage, as you would expect, of course, with breakfast. So the car, even with all of the upgrades, um, it makes it a little bit more challenging in terms of you have to be a bit careful with your throttle application and stuff, but... It's a really, really nice car to drive. It's genuinely very fun in terms of its handling. You can slide it a little bit. It feels like a modern race car relative to Wreckfest. You know, a lot of the cars feel really heavy or, you know, a bit too nimble and light. This one feels kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, and it's, no, it's genuinely really nice. <laughs> oh, that sound gets me. Final lap. Can we catch the leader? Probably not. I think I might just have to go for the jugular here. This is our only way to win. We're down to fifth position. So hopefully, I mean, looking looking at that, the carnage has increased, but... Uh, so we're only three seconds off the lead, so you know what? I might have actually given myself a chance here. I feel like this track is going to be popular with online multiplayer lobbies and stuff. Oh, the leader's gone into the wall. It's P2. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. And we are into the lead. Come on, is this the last corner? Contact, keep it together. A bit more straightforward than last time. There we go. Okay, that's made up for the disaster of race one. We're going to take a win at Bleak City. And yeah, similar kind of thing, to be honest. It's not the most mind-blowing, incredible location ever. It's not my favorite Wreckfest map. But I'm not going to you know, be begging for this one every time. But... It's a really nice racetrack. It's, you know, the corners really lend themselves to drifting and chucking the car in, which is also a very satisfying mechanic with Wreckfest. So I'm never going to complain about that. I'm definitely going to need to try some of these other ones. We've got Free Roam and Demolition Arena in Blake City and just the Free Roam. I tell you what, we'll do Free Roam at Devil's Canyon. We'll give this a go because this, for like a team deathmatch or something, this is going to be absolutely insane. Oh, I need to make my car stronger. Nope. You can't make the car stronger. I'm assuming in this one we can just go anywhere, right? So all of those little pits, I say little, very big pits in the middle of the circuit, we can just drive in those. Ah, oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. Let's jump in. So we're all starting at different points. We seem to have a center piece there. And the team deathmatch begins. You can launch straight off there and we're already into the, one of the pits. That was unnecessary damage. We've got some tunnels as well. I need to actually find people. It's probably going to be the hardest part. I'm going to be a very weak link in this team, I have a feeling. How does this car get on against a uh, super big rig? Ah, got a major hit, not so bad. This looks really cool because it's so vast. I just don't really know yet, as I was saying, what all the different places are. And I don't really know 
how it all links together. You know, I want to get if I want to get above. Oh, there's a okay. There's a ramp up here, so let's try and go up this way. Where is everybody? No, I'm just all I'm doing is wrecking myself. It's a personal death match. Someone is totally stuck, so that <laughs> I've just wrecked myself off the back of the battle bus, which has given them a lot of points. Oh dear. Anyway, our team is actually losing now. This is not good. I'm probably the main reason for that. Where do I go? I can imagine this location would be really fun with a group of friends, and once you actually learn where you're going. The issue, I think, with it is, you know, if you're playing something like uh, Last Man Standing, it's going to be hard to actually find drivers to hit, you know, to actually keep it going. That's going to probably be the most difficult part. Okay, Chicken Stew is looking weak. Let's see if we can find them. Oh, have we found Chicken Stew? We found Chicken Stew! They're not moving very far. And I've finally got a wreck. Okay, there's another one in the corner there if my teammate moves out of the way. No, 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 no! That did not go as planned. Oh my god, oh, we're, we're tied. I need to get this last cr this last one. He's running away, come on. I've only got six seconds. Oh, it's gonna be the last second. No, I missed him, no. <laughs> oh, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. And we lost. Looking at the scoreboard, it's actually, <laughs> most people wrecked themselves. Like, most people didn't get a wreck. They just destroyed themselves. I, I think there's only four people. Yeah, four people got a wreck there. I think the AI needs some work for, for that free roam map. Let's put it that way. Our last task for today is to see if I can remain the last person standing on the Bleak City Demolition Arena. So, is this car going to be strong enough with 4.5 strength? I'm not sure, but we're going to find out anyway. I don't know which section of the map it's going to be the Demolition Arena, but I'm hoping there's lots of jumps and all sorts. Okay, this is, oh, we're kind of in the field in the middle by the looks of it. It it's looks big again. It really does. This time it's 100% tarmac as the surface, so that changes things a little bit. Let's see if I can be the last person standing. Now there's a lot of big battle buses and all sorts, so I'm going to have to play it sensibly. Looks like the arena's not absolutely enormous, so that helps. It keeps things a little bit together. So we're not going to lose anyone, put it that way. That's another thing, the bigger vehicles like the battle bus and the big rig and stuff, they would really struggle with Last Man Standing on one of the free roam maps. Oh no. That was actually surprisingly okay. The car dealt with it quite well. Oh, the Combine. Practicing for the Olympic BMX freestyle event. I've failed at it. There we go. There's a big hit. There's another one, and we get our first wreck. 41 health is all we've got left, though. I like that they've thought of traction as well with the, the pink kind of, what do you call them? Slabs of ground, little ramps, I'm not sure. Do you know, I'm hanging on in there. There's, there's obviously a lot of cars with much more health than me, but I'm surviving. It's going to hurt. There we go. That's another one. There's not many left. I think there's only three of us left. Oh, <laughs> there's a driver flowing up in the air. That is, um, I don't want to... Oh no, I don't have to face the motorhome. I'm going to have to eventually though. What is the vehicle over here? Oh, they've just wrecked themselves. Okay, it's a 1v1 and I'm not going to come out of this on top. I need to get them to basically crash themselves into the wall like they've just done. Yeah, that did nothing. That's it, head on collision. I'm down to four, but no, the motorhome's definitely going to win this one, isn't it? I'm so impressed with the car though. I'm so, so impressed with the car. I think the tracks are really good as well. Obviously, tracks kind of bring more to a game, I would always argue, than a car, as that's me wrecked now. I don't think I won. <laughs> the motorhome definitely survived, and it was second place. Yeah, what I was going to say is that the tracks bring more variety to a video game. So, for me, I would always argue that a, a, you know, a new track inclusion is probably a bigger update than a new car in a game like Wreckfest, because I think it, it adds more different elements to it, it creates more exciting online multiplayer racing and stuff like that, whereas a car is just another option to add to the list. With this update, though, they've actually managed to make the car hugely exciting as well, because it handles so nicely, it drives well, it's still well balanced and stuff like that, and it's not super strong, obviously, as you saw there. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it's not going to win uh, Last Man Standing in most scenarios. However, as a race car, it's just epic, and you know, it's a car that people are definitely going to want to try and unlock and, and uh, purchase. I'm very impressed with that. The tracks are also hugely cool, very nostalgic, and I don't think they're they're meant to be anything groundbreaking. I think the whole point of them is they're to try and uh, remind people of Carmageddon, have a bit of fun, and that's exactly what they are. I mean, they're nothing crazy. They're quite straightforward in the layouts and stuff like that, 
but they are exciting. I think there's a few bug fixes needed for the AI, especially when it comes to the free roam mode, but all in all, yeah, another fantastic update from Wreckfest, as always, and yeah, everyone that I've spoken to that played this last night, that's played it so far, has been very, very much enjoying it, so yeah, all good, as usual. So guys, that is going to be it for me today, but a massive thank you as always for watching, and of course make sure you subscribe to the Traction channel to catch all of our latest videos as they're released. Also check out the website, www.traction.gg, for your latest racing game, news, reviews, updates, and everything else. Until I see you next time, keep it pinned, and have a great day.